Hey there, Paper Geeks and Glitter Nerds, it's Senna, and this week's card is all about the gold. In this video, I will be us using Nuvo Embellishing Mousse for all the coloring, and this was inspired by the YouTuber uh, Mixed Up Craft. Um, she did this in a live and later posted a video on uh, YouTube where she used only embellishing mousse or ink to color an entire card. And I think it was a brilliant idea actually. I have new mousses, I have two, and they are really dry, so this will be a struggle. I just forget to use them. It's that simple. You saw me use a um, expanding mousse last week. Well, that one I had had for over a year without using it. So, like you see here, it's very dry. I tried adding some um, boiled water. Not while it was boiling, though, uh, but it had been boiled um, uh, to keep some of the um, minerals out. That was the uh, recommendation from uh, Tonic's website. But it didn't really get back to the the smoothness that it had. I have I have had this for years, so no wonder it's dried out. It's just I forget I have them. Do you have this problem, or am I all alone in this? Also, I wish I could buy a what a quarter of this amount at a time. It will make it easier to build up a collection and use it before it dries out for, for someone like me, at least. I don't know if I will ever empty this completely. It'll probably be one hard stone before I get to that point. But nevertheless, I found a few ways to use it anyway. Um, and um, this here is what I'm going to be using for embellishment. It's a um, coral dye from Mayana Design. I had some leftovers from when I did uh, a princess party. I had corals on all the invitations. Of course, you need that. Um, so I had these left over. I just decided instead of cutting new ones, I was would use these. I, I was going to color them anyway with the embellishment mousse. And here you see me uh, scraping out the softer parts of the mousse and then getting it back to th the right state of moussiness or whatever you call it. And it was not as easy as I had hoped after leaving this for two weeks with water in it. Some of the water is still in there though. So. Well, yeah. I just have to get on and try use it. Try to use it. So maybe there'll be more cards like this in the future since, like I just said, I need to use this up. I don't want it to go to waste. When you're working on a monochromatic card like this, you often put in white or black, or both, to, to just have some thing to differentiate um, the different parts. And I'm using only whites for this. Um, I'm gonna make a stacked sentiment with this uh, white cardstock. And some uh, adhesive tape. This one is die cutting friendly. And for once I remember to use it. So, and this is one of my favorite congratulations dies from Simple and Basics. The country, uh, the the congratulations in Danish is uh, quite the long word. Um, 
Of course, not as long as the actual word congratulations. That's that's a serious uh, mouthful. But you do use the the term congrats in English to shorten it. We don't have a shorter version than this one with the uh, eleven. Uh, sorry, not eleven. Seven. If I can count. There's seven letters in this word. <laughs> but stacking uh, up the word like this is actually quite clever. I like it, and it makes a good graphical element on the card. This card base is a bit too bare in my opinion, so I pull out this, um, well it's a mister, and I actually have Nouveau uh, Mousse in it. You can do this, uh, make a uh, soup, Nouveau soup thing uh, with it, and it sprays fine, I just wanted some droplets on the card base, that's why I used first the applicator, and now I uh, an actual paintbrush to get it out, and it works fine. I've had this one as long as I've had the mousse and uh, I've I haven't used it up yet and I haven't needed to add anything just have to shake it up every time I need to use it and this is the only embellishment that does not involve mousse or just cardstock sequence because I needed a bit of bling on my golden card 
who doesn't need that? There are a few of them that are holographic and some are just plain gold. Um, this baggy I have is... Uh, I, I pulled apart a whole lot of old cards, which were shakers, and I just dumped all the shaker material into a bowl and then put it in this bag. So, um, I'm not quite certain where all these came from. Um, but it's a nice concept, at least. Um, I have a lot of variety in this bag and it hangs on my pack board so I remember to use them. Well, this was this week's card. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this wasn't as extremely long a video as I normally do, but I hope you still feel inspired and uh, can go to your craft room and do something like it, if you want to, of course. Now, as always, I hope you'll be having a good day, evening or night, wherever you are. <laughs>